This is a Sakura E300 tissue processor, and I'm going to quickly show you how to program your reagents and also program a run um, when you first get this. Um, so the main menu is going to look just like this. Um, where I'm going to go first is uh, number three, identify solutions. To get there, uh, you just press three, enter. And you'll come up with the station solution, uh, the code number, the concentration, uh, the set column, and used column, and I'll describe those later. Um, station one, uh, we are going to choose um, neutral buffered formalin. So I'm going to go to my manual. And here are the codes for all the reagent that is programmed into this processor. Um, so as you can see, neutral buffered formalin is number five. Uh, those are for the first two steps. Then I'm going to go down to alcohols, uh, number 11, and then I'm going to go to 20 for xylene, and the rest are cleaning um, and paraffin. So um, let me go back over here. And so number one, like I said, it was, it was going to be number five. The concentration is going to be 10. Set, I'm just going to leave blank. What this column does is it allows you to remind yourself that that's, that reagent needs to be changed. Um, if there's a, a six in that set column, every six runs, it will alert you to um, change that formula. So um, I'm just going to leave that blank. You can do that, and it will not remind you. Use, that's just going to keep a, a real-time um, count of how many times you use that in a cycle. You hit enter again, and it goes down to the second, and I'm just going to quickly do this. And then alcohol is 11. And then the last two are xylene, and that is 20. And then paraffin is going to be 29. And paraffin is always going to be 100%. It won't even let me change that. Now the E300 and the E150, they're all the same programming style. Um, with the E150 and the E300, um, it's a little different than the, the K series. They have four paraffin um, containers and uh, the K series, the, e, the, the VIP 3000 has uh, three. So okay, now I'm all set here. I'm going to press exit and get back to my main menu. Then I'm gonna edit programs, number two. So I'm gonna select two, enter. And so as you can see, um, the numbers correspond with the reagents that we just set up in the reagent containers. And so um, up here where the cursor is flashing, you can pick whatever program you wanna edit. So if you wanna edit um, program one, you just press one and then you can hit the down arrows to edit that program. So you, can, um, you can't change the, the concentration here. You'd have to go back to the um, reagent screen and change that there. You can do the time, uh, the set temp, uh, the pressure vacuum cycle, and agitation. Um, we can set this, let's just say to, um, I'm gonna clear this and set it to one. Set temp, that's good, yes. And so on and so forth. I'm just going back and I'm pressing enter and it 
brings me all the way down to the end and that is just a brief overview of how you program it. It's the same as the E150 as well. 